Several high-level British CFA officials are being held by their Afrikaner colleagues. One of these prisoners is the rescue target, a guy known as the Viscount. The target's location is unknown, but they're bound to have an interpreter present when they interrogate him. We've used info from the intel unit to predict the interpreter's location. It's on your eye droid. Follow the interpreter and extract the target when you find him. That's not the target. The rumors are only the Vicon gets rescued. Can't understand why he receives special treatment. But I don't imagine it'll be a problem to save the other prisoners too. You found the interpreter. Now follow him to the target. Afrikaans is the lingua franca for mercs in that area. If you're going to get any information from interrogations, you'll need an interpreter. What's the cause? British are all liars. You know how much the Afrikaners suffered because of you and the world war. That wasn't me. I said it was not him. But it was you that us for riot. But it was you that betrayed us. It wasn't me. Here was the Viscount. Genoch! I see nothing to get done. That's a secret line. Boss, I did some digging. And it seems the target himself gave us this mission through a representative. Obviously, he couldn't contact us directly due to his predicament. But still, something about this Viscount doesn't add up. son of a bitch. He was planning to secure the MPLA's oil field rights for himself in exchange for swapping the CFA's alliance from the anti-government United Rebels to the state-backed MPLA. He hid this from the Afrikaners, but once he thought the jig was up, he tried to pin it on the other British personnel and take off. The Afrikaners captured him, and that was when he asked us to rescue him, and only him. I'll throw him in the brig for now, but we may have to be extra persuasive with this one. By the way, boss, we got some interesting news out of our friend the Viscount. He mentioned that more than a few PFs in the region have purchased Walker gears. The CFA is the same. That's Soviet Army technology, and it's still a prototype. Only Cypher could be leaking it to the PFs. But the question is, why? When did that start? No more than six months ago. Didn't really hit me until I came here. They're not supposed to be in use yet. Emmerich says they were still doing the last round of fine-tuning. The doctor has no idea. His research has already hit the black market. Both sides of the Iron Curtain will have it by now. <sighs> Even so, they're spreading much too fast. Sure, the Walker gears can operate in any terrain. Their mobility's just as good in the jungle as it is in the desert. 
that would come in handy in a place like Africa. They are modules that can one day be used as nuclear weapon systems. And with that in mind, the numbers are way too large. There must be another reason they're so widespread. Like what? It's all about needs. To small-time outfits like most of these private forces, this product is a dream come true. Hell, it goes beyond PS. This is the ultimate weapon, the forbidden fruit. For anyone with an enemy to fight and people to defend. The nuclear deterrent. Exactly. Sounds familiar, huh? PFs are all operating off your playbook. You created these types. But could this be the new weapon in Africa that Emmerich talked about? If it is, why is Cypher letting everyone and his brother get their hands on one? What comes next? Selling nuclear weapons in the open? Making them public property? Why don't they give that a try? Then the next war really will be fought with sticks. Right. The man we're dealing with isn't foolish enough to make a suicide pact with the world. So... What is Cypher really up to? Yeah. Movement for the Liberation of Angola, also known as the MPLA. The PF at Ditati Abandoned Village has been supplied with walker gears. Your job is to eliminate them all. Destroy them, extract them, whatever you see fit. This just might get us closer to the walker gear supplier, Cypher. Good luck, boss. Yeah. have been deployed to that outpost. Zero was already bedridden. 
so it never felt right to me that Zero gave the order. Now that I've seen the man Emmerich was working for, I'm sure he didn't. I know that man. He was our old friend's XO. A man without a face. Not one you want to look at anyway. Skullface. He's the one who destroyed your base nine years ago. The unit he commands, XOF, was Cypher Strike Force. But he's since split from Zero and used XOF to usurp control over Cypher itself. In other words, the Cypher we're hunting isn't Zero. Beyond Zero is a void that's even darker. Skullface. Staff member who tried to dress her, breathing through tubes. Other than that, she's completely cooperative. She understands English. She never speaks, sweats, or breathes. What? Well, not with lungs, at least. She breathes through her skin. Clothing would suffocate her. Showers are okay, but she can't be submerged. What's wrong with her? She's drinking through her skin. She's okay? She's okay. She just can't move when she's taking in water. Look. She doesn't eat either? Never. It's photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? That's the verdict from the medical staff? No. The jury's still out. It's the only explanation for what we've seen. The Gru had a man with that ability in its Cobra unit. We don't think she's contagious. Some of the staff can't stomach her. It's starting to affect morale. Can't you send her on a mission? By herself? No. But as you know, she does have skill. Why not take her out on one of your missions? She seems to like you. Of course, only if you think she'll be useful. Next time you go out, you keep her in mind.
first is to infiltrate an outpost ahead of you and scout out the enemy's positions. The second is to send her to a sniping position and have her cover your infiltration. The kind of sniper support she'll provide will depend on the weapon you give her. Of course, this is all assuming she's willing to follow orders. The mission objective is to eliminate the PF commander they call the Major. One of the Major's subordinates working undercover with the CFA is due to make contact with him. Check his current location on your iDroid. Follow him, and he should lead you right to the We have no fix on the target, not even a predicted field of movement. All we have to go on is this meeting with his subordinate. Remember, this guy will call the meeting off if he thinks he's being tailed. You've got to do everything you can to stay out of sight. That's an enemy gunship. A single burst from his machine gun could cut a man in half. Tread carefully, boss. Switched vehicles, huh? You don't think he spotted you. Geen meneer die breed trekken. Die CFA kon nog niet vaststellen hoe die hier soldaten in Wallawa Maasla gesterf het. Al wat hulle kon krijg is die plaatselijke bevolking te praat over. Dit is net zo luis. Aha, maar daar is geruchte dat jy die job van die hand gewees het omdat jy geweet het van die siekte. En nou is iemand bezig om een vergelding skoot saam te stel. Van alle dinge. En ek maak soms my handen vuil. Maar ek is een engel in vergelijking met sommige van die bliksems. Slava aan. Reg onder hulle nees en hulle wil my vervolg. Ik ga je niet voortrekken, maar je is helemaal recht. Niet een van ons verdient een prijs op zijn kop. In elk geval, zit die rest in een geschreven verslag. Wat meer belangrijk is, is je volgende taak. Zij daar eens proberen een oude man om in je te brengen. Het is iets te doen met. Uh, <coughs> kernwapen. Maar ik heb geen idee wie die oude man is. Ik versta. Ik zal het onderzoeken. Kernwapens te onderzoeken is. Wel, het is een baie gevaarlijke pad om te lopen. Ja, ik weet niet. Ik kan wees wat die plek nodig het. Die skrik maak dus in die lande. Baie bloedvergieting stop. Jy denkt Mobuto. En die rest sal die sin daarvan kan inzien. Maar misschien het hulle plan om die grootkop ook gelukkig te hou. Voor nou, vind hy het waarmee sê daar eens bezig is. Ek begrijp nie. was just a rumor he was paid to spread around. He doesn't even know who's paying him. All his instructions came through a cutout. But how? Who else would be behind it but Cypher? And this nuclear arms trading is clearly connected to that yellow cake. He thought the same thing, which is why he tried to investigate ZRS himself. He said something else that caught my attention. That ZRS had tried to kill some old man. How did one old man get that kind of attention? This. It's a variable, multi-legged tank. 
a spin-off of Metal Gear technology. Big fan of spin-offs, isn't he? I hear he borrowed from the Soviets in Costa Rica, too. The design allows for a lot of freedom in setups. It's based around a central core unit, so you can quickly reconfigure the hardware to suit any sort of mission parameters. What the good doctor is trying to say is that it's customizable. Naturally, it will raise the probability of success for standard missions. But it functions as an improved deterrent by increasing your preemptive strike capability against enemy elements. You just deploy it in a war zone, and its superior firepower puts the brakes on enemy attacks. Eventually, the whole war machine grinds to a halt. A true battle gear! Cause I'm having deja vu here. I don't like him any more than you. But we need this. You think it'll cut it in the field? Turning radius is better than any tanks. That's great for regional skirmishes. Tech like this is popping up all among the PFs. Best way to deal with them is to fight fire with fire. I'll await your instructions then, boss. So do we have your approval to commence development? Fine. Consider yourself off the chopping block, Doctor.